after cleaning up, uh, we just uh, have to prepare this machine for uh, actual purified pure spirit distillation. So we just have to close the burn bowl well now and detach a small collar. So the next step we have to find out how much of raw spirit uh, did we distill yesterday and what percentage of this spirit we've got. For that we just take the tower glass jar, fill it up with spirit. This particular one is two liter, so we need a hydrometer. So we've got approximately 40% of spirit in this solution. So we have to record it somewhere. So don't forget that we're dealing with raw spirit. It seems to be okay, but it's not suitable for drinking. Uh, in other systems, this raw spirit is the final product. In our case, it's semi-product, and we're gonna process it further. So we're filling up our machine and uh, trying to count for the amount of liquid we put in. So we've got total nine liters. So we've got nine liters of raw spirit in this vessel. It's uh, six liters from the previous distillation and uh, uh, three liters of the spirit that actually left over uh, out of some other previous distillations. So we have to make a record of percentage of our stuff and the amount of our stuff. In this case it's 9 liters at 40 percent. Uh, so the minimum level or minimum volume of liquid uh, that's supposed to be left in this distiller after uh, distillation is finished is around uh, 7 liters. So, uh, you just have to make sure that after all spirits evaporate, in this case it's 40%, there will be enough liquid to cover the heating element, other way element will be stuck. So, after you added some spirit in, you have to add, uh, in this case, approximately 5 liters of uh, water. So once water is added, it's time to assemble our uh, rational distillation core. So it's done in a similar way as the previous one, but this one is a little bit bigger. Make sure it's convenient for you. just the same as easy as the previous one. Once we added water, uh, we can be sure that our element will be okay, but for example if you're working with uh, capacities of 20 liters of raw spirit at 50 percent, you don't have to worry about any water, because after 50 percent of spirit evaporates, there's going to be 10 liters of liquid left. But if you're working with uh, smaller volumes like 6, five liters of raw spirit, you have to make sure that after spirit evaporates there is uh, plenty of liquid left in the core. So we just close everything down, switch on the power, and we have to make sure that this valve is closed. Now there is time to make a calculation because in this case uh, our distillation is supposed to be very precise and it's, if it's not a guesswork we have to make uh, some guidance for ourselves to go through the distillation. We just have to know step by step what kind of spirits and what amount we are going to take from the machine. So while our system is getting hot and before our first spirit has come out 
we have to make a calculation. Now we just uh, have two figures, at 40% and 9 liters of spirit. So we have to find out how much of 100% spirit we really got in this solution. For that, we have to take very simple calculator and make very simple calculation. In this case, 40 liters, 40% uh, sorry of uh, spirit supposed to be multiplied by 9 liters of actual spirit.